Hey everyone, Devin here with Stop Phone Scammers. And um, before this video starts, I want to uh, tell you this scammer, I just want to warn you actually, is that uh, towards the end, uh, I kind of went off a little bit in the scammer. Um, the scammer actually found out that, um, well, once I gave him the fake address, he kind of figured out what was going on, what I was doing. So he tried to uh, lie, pretend like he didn't ask for my credit card number and everything, and kind of just try to reverse what he did. Because uh, he knew that I was recording a video and what I was doing when I was up to after that point, and he tried to act like that uh, he didn't—he didn't just try to scam me, which he obviously did. But uh, once I tried reaching the building manager, he hung up like a coward as usual. I didn't get anywhere, so I called back 20 minutes later and I got one of the agents I spoke to earlier that was connected to the virtual machine, and I kind of went off a little bit. And uh, I just want to let you know that was a little bit explicit. I kind of said the f bomb a few times, and uh, I just kind of went off. Um, on the scammer, so I just want to let you know about that, just kind of farewell, or beware, you know, beware. Um, so, anyway, um, I'll show you guys the video now, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Hey everyone, Devin here with Stop Phone Scammers, it's here back in the scam editing video. And uh, I have this wallpaper back here that says that my computer's files have been encrypted, and my operating system is going to be deleted, and wallpaper, you know, just make it more authentic, I guess. And I added a few more things to the virtual machine to make it look more uh, more like a real computer, I guess. Um, so we're going to give this company a call and see what ransomwares they find. Or viruses or whatever. Thank you for calling technical support. My name is Zaym. How may I assist you? Hi. Um, I got something on my computer that says my files are, are encrypted and I got to pay $125 in 24 hours or it'll be all deleted. All my files will be deleted. Uh, may I know your uh, full name? Uh, yeah, it's Richard Tarr. T-A-R-R. Okay, Richard. Yeah. Uh, it's R R C H A R D. Yep. Hello, Richard. Hello. What's your name? Huh? So, what's your yes. name? Yes. Uh, Haim. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah, Richard, yeah, you can tell me any. What kind of trouble you are facing? Well, I got this thing on my computer that says my computer files are um, encrypted and I have to pay $125 in 24 hours or they'll delete all my files. Okay, you paid uh, 25 You paid how much amount? No, I haven't paid anything. It says I need to pay $125 within 24 hours or they're going to take all my files. Okay, okay. Richard, did you take our services? No, no. There's a message on my screen that says that they, they have my files. Okay, so you are calling first time? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Richard? Yeah. Are you calling first time? Yeah, I'm calling for the first time. Hello? Yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, Richard, you are calling first time? Yeah, this is my first time calling. Okay. My, yeah. Actually, Richard, uh, this, yes, Richard, actually, this line is only for the registered users only. I don't know how you get our number, but this uh, this is only for the registered user. Oh. If you took our services, then only can I help you out. Okay, well, I got it from your website, Premium Solutions. Premium Solutions. Yeah. Premium PC. Premium dash PC dash solutions dot net. Yeah, Richard. Uh, actually, it's only for the uh, users who just took our services and you didn't take our services as I pulled up your records. Okay, well, is there a number I can call for the first time callers? So I'm just not able to help you out in that case. 
Is, is there another number I can call for the first time people? Or you can hold the line, I just check it out once or again. Okay. okay. Thank you for holding a line, Richard. Yep. Yeah, Richard, actually, I'm unable to pull up your records. Okay. Well, is there a, another number I can call so for the first time? Another number. Just a minute. Okay. Thank you for holding a line. I'm just transferring the call to my senior supervisor, okay? Okay, thank you. Congratulations, are you there? Hello, hi. Hi, my name is Madhuri and I'm the technician over here. So, uh, so can you please tell me your name? Yeah, my name is Richard. Can you please spell your name? Yeah, R-I-C-H-A-R-D. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, R-I-C-H-A-R-D. Okay. And the last name? Tar, T-A-R-R. It's K-E-R-R. No, T-A-R-R. T as in Tango. Okay. And please provide me a phone number, sir. Alright, it's 814 204 2289. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, right now, just tell me what exact problem you're facing. Well, I got some on my computer that says my files have been encrypted and I got to pay $125 in 24 hours and if I don't pay it, they'll delete all my files. It was like some sort of virus mm -hmm. or something that caused this. Okay, okay, just a minute, sir. Let me check that. For that, sir, do one thing. Please press window key and R. Alright. Is it the four box key? Uh, you, you have to press, yeah, you have to press the window key with R, R is in Romeo. Oh, 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 I, all together? Yeah, you have to both, press both together. Okay, all right. All right, I did that, and it says type the name of a program, folder, document, internet resource, the windows are open And once you. you press both together, you will get a run box. Are you getting that? Y yeah, it says run, it says type the name of a program or document, and windows are open Are you getting any you. run box, sir? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, so sir, now please type in that box, www.support.me. Okay. Do I press OK? Yeah. All right. All right, something's loading. Mm -hmm. All right, it says um, support connection, enter your six-digit code, is that right? Yes, sir. Please type in there. It's four five six 
456375. Then do I click the download button? Yeah, now you have to click on start download. Okay. Alright, um, it's loading something here. Alright, finished downloading. Do I run it now? Yeah, you have to click on run okay. and then please click on all the positive answers like OK, yes, and continue. Okay. Alright, now it says connecting and it says ABS world. Yeah. Okay. Alright, um, now you need to click on OK on your screen. Okay. And please allow all the stuff that you are getting on your screen. Okay. I clicked allow. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I clicked OK. And I clicked mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. It says connecting. Okay. Now please click on OK once more. Okay. Alright, my taskbar went blue and... Oh, the is that you moving the mouse? Yeah, that's me. Just a minute. Please, just a minute. Okay. Please click on yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, just tell me, sir, what exact problem you are facing. Just show me. Oh, it was gone. It was on my. It was on the background. It said that my files were encrypted. It's gone now. Okay. Just a minute. But it said my files were encrypted, and then I have to um, pay one hundred twenty-five dollars or something, like with some sort of ransomware. Okay, like Richard, let me tell you one thing, uh, like, as might be that's because of the network problem, might be your network was not secure, so that's why you are facing that issue, because this thing happens sometimes because of that. Okay. So, for that, sir, like, uh, what I can do, where I can just connect this call to a good uh, technician who can help you in that, to diagnose that your network is safe or secure or not. Okay. So is that okay for you? Yeah, so that's that fine. you can check yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just connecting the call to a technician, diagnostic to expert, the senior technician. My name is Christy. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good. All right. So the call has been transferred to me stating that you are facing some critical problems on your computer. So I'll be going ahead and checking those problems for you related to your network line, okay? Oh, okay, thank you. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of scared. All right. You don't have to worry about it, sir. We will go ahead and try our best to fix up the problem. So may I know what were you doing on your computer, sir, and uh, what, what problem did you get when you called us? Well, I was... Um, <clears throat> well, here's the whole story. I was going to, you know, I was going on Bing, and I was trying to... Um, I don't know what I was doing. I was, like, I was looking at stuff for like Christmas deals, like since Christmas is over. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, my computer went black. And then I looked at my desktop, and it said that I had to pay $125. Um, otherwise, my computer files would be stolen. And that's when I called you. But when when she connected, it disappeared. So I'm not sure. All right. 
All right, so let me just go ahead and check the problem on your computer, sir. Let me just go ahead and run some scans to look for the problem, okay? Please okay. bear with me. All right. So what is this? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is a, a scan that I'm trying to run onto your computer, sir. And I can see that uh, I'm just trying to look at the network of your computer right now. It says Netstat, as you can see. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And it says active connections. And here is the local address of your computer. All right. And I can see some of the foreign addresses being established right now. <gasps> Oh my, um, so well, what does that mean? Does that mean someone's trying to connect to my computer? Is that what that means? Absolutely right, sir. It means that there are some foreign connections trying to get connected to your network. Oh my, okay. All right, and here I can see that they are established with your computer and with your network as well. So the problem is not just with the computer, sir, it is with the network, as I'm going ahead and checking the network of your computer right now. So what they are trying to do is they are trying to take the access of your IP first, and through that they are going ahead and getting connected to your computer. Okay. Oh, well. Wow. All right, let me just go try, try and show you that how it happens. All right. And sir, can I get your first and last name, please? Yeah, my name is Richard Tarr. All right. Thank you very much, Richard. And may I know, may I know which, which number are you dialing right now? Uh, the phone number? Yes, this phone number. It's 814-204-2289. All right, sir. So I'm talking about the number, the toll-free number that you're dialing right now for the Windows help. Oh, um, 1-800, uh, let's see, 874 All right. Thank you very much for that. And is this the very first time you're facing a problem like this, sir, or you face it? Um, this is my first time. Before I don't think as I've... Well. I've never had a problem like this before. Oh, all right. Man in the browser attack. What is that? All right, sir. It it it. This is this is how they go ahead and get connected to your computer. So I'm just trying to look onto here to show you that how it happens, sir. I'm just trying to show it to you and explain it to you through help through the help of an image. Okay. Yeah. The image makes it easier. All right. So out, absolutely. Out here, you're using the internet, sir. All right. Yep. And this is the attacker. It, it goes ahead and get connected to your IP, to your network, and through this, they are going ahead and connect, getting connected to your computer. Okay. All right. And it, it is actually man in the browser attack can target all websites. All right. And this is just in, just a way in order to go ahead and get connected to your computer, as you can see right here, sir. I'm I'm blown away right now. All right. This is this is news to me. I understand, sir. But you don't have to worry about it, sir. And that's the reason the number has been given to you for the global help. All right. So that we can go ahead and try and help you with your problem. And it says that your browser out is out of date. So I'll go ahead and try and look up the same as well. Now just give me a moment, sir. I need to go ahead and run a couple of more scans in order to go ahead and check some more things. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
Are, are these all the hackers connected to the computer? Now, I want you to go ahead and have a look here, sir. So, am I on speakerphone by any chance? Uh, yeah. So, can you please take me off the speakerphone? Yeah, there you go. All right. So, I can see that this is a critical problem, and I have to go ahead and assign a network expert to get the problem fixed for you. As I can see, the current connections on your computer right now is about 55. Yeah. Or rather, it should be just one, all right? So, as the previous technician must have advised you, sir, that in order to go ahead and get this problem fixed, there would be certain charges coming along with this. So, do you want me to go ahead and assign a technician to you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If I've got hackers trying to connect the computer, I'd it definitely, yes. All right, sir. Let me just go ahead and quickly check that how old this computer is and whether it's falling in under the warranty period or not. Okay, it's only and how much it would cost you to go ahead and fix up the problem. It's only a few months old. It really isn't that old. All right, let me just go ahead and have a look at that too. Okay. All right, I can see that this computer was bought somewhere in the year of 2012, sir. Yeah, it's not too old. So you told me it's, it's only a few months old, but I can see it's, it's about four or five years old. Oh, well. It's a few months old to me, anyway. All right, so did you buy it from somebody else? Yeah, I bought it from somebody else. All right. All right, so, so do, you, do you want me to go ahead and sign a technician to you, sir? Yeah. All right, sir. There would be a one-time fee coming along with that, which would be around two ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, sir. Okay. Would that be okay with you, sir? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't have any issues with that. All right, sir, I want you to go ahead and please give me this information so that I can go ahead and assign a technician to you and get the copy of the contract made for you. Okay. Can you write this information for me, please? Uh, yeah. You, okay, yep. Yeah. Oops, my bad. Oops, my bad. And then the address, is that my billing address that you want? Yes, that's right, sir. Okay. Oops.
So is this all the information you need, or do you need like my credit card or something? Just give me a moment, sir. You still there, ma'am? Absolutely, sir. I'm right here with you. I'm just trying to make the copy of the contract for you. I want you to please bear with me. Don't mind the silence while I'm trying to work on here, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Hi. Thank you. So, sir, your billing address is 546 Stewart Street, right? Yep, that's right. All right. So, are you sure this address is correct? With that? Because I'm going in and trying to verify this address, but it's not getting verified here. Yeah, it's correct. Sir, I can again hear my voice back. Am I on speakerphone again? No, you're not on speakerphone. All right. And is this your billing address, sir? Yeah, that's my billing address. I cannot hear you. Yeah, that's, that's my billing address. All right, sir. Now, just give me a moment, sir. I have to go ahead and drop this call to my billings department, all right? So just bear with me. All right. Thank you so much for staying online, you sir. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, hi sir. My name is Jason and I'm the senior technician on the floor. How are you? Um, fine. Okay, that's good. So, can you please tell me, sir, what's the problem you are facing right now? Uh, there was, I was explaining to the lady that there was something wrong with my computer, like a virus or something, and then she said that there was like a man man in the browser attack on my computer and that um, that there was hackers connected to my computer. Okay, not a problem, sir. She showed me that thing and she, those are all the hackers, she said. I'm sorry? So she showed me this connection window, she said that those are all the hackers. Oh, 
so there might be there might be some kind of third party access which could have taken place already in network so this could could have happened and uh, so let me quickly go ahead and check this information out over here just bear with me okay and sir what will be the mode of payment which will be using for making the transaction a uh, visa card it's a visa card yeah sir so do you have your card handy with you yeah i do yeah want the numbers not now sir i'm just checking this thing out just bear with me Just bear with me, sir. I'm just checking this thing out, okay? Please stay online. Uh, all right. Thank you. And sir, apart from this number, do you have any other number to contact you? No. This is the only number you have, and is this a cell phone number or is this your home phone number? That's my cell phone, that's the only one I have. Okay, that's a cell phone number. And are you the only user of this computer? Somebody else also uses it? And sir, can you please tell me that from where did you get a number and what number you have dialed? Uh, the number I dialed is 800-874-8739 and I got it from Premium PC Solutions. You got it from Premium PC Solutions? Yeah. I mean, someone told you to call this number or what happened exactly? No, I just found it. I looked for tech support and I found your website. Which website you have gone down, sir? Can you please tell me? Yeah. Can you show me the website from which website you have gone ahead and got the number? Yeah. Thank you. You there, sir? Yeah, I'm still here. I see, I got it right there. But that's another number. This is a not the same number which you have given it to us. I mean, <laughs> sure, sir. I'm waiting. Here, okay, that's why I found it right here. See? Thank you, sir. 
But that's uh, not the number which you given to us. Yes. Yeah, 1-800-874-8739. No, sir, you told me that it's different that's the one. the same number I'm calling you on. It's not 800-576-5105. Right here. Right here. But that is not our number. <laughs> well, I reached you, didn't I? No, sir, this is not our number. I'm sorry. Well, how am I talking to you then? Because that's what I called. Sir, this is a different number on which you're talking right now. The number is 800-874-8739. So what do you want me to do, sir? I, I'm, I want I'm to sorry, I will not fixed. be able to help you because I guess this is a kind of a, you know, this is a kind of a thing which is coming up. That's why. I want to get my computer fixed. Hello? I beg your pardon, you're saying something? Yeah, I said I want to get my computer fixed. You still want my card? Hello? Come with you, so stay online with me, please. So I'm just checking this thing out. And can you please go ahead and... Go ahead and what? No worries, sir. So, can you please help me with the 16 digit long card numbers? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Oops. You want the expression? Just bear with me, sir. Just bear with me. Okay. Let me check. Right, you have to type it in again, sir. But sir, I haven't asked you for any kind of information. Why are you typing this information over here? You said you wanted the card number. That's what I gave you. No, sir. I never need. We never need any kind of information from your ranch. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, how do you want to? No, pay sir. For we it? don't need any kind of information from our end. I really apologize for that. Now. So apart from this, is there anything else I message you for today, sir? Well. What are we going to do to get the computer fixed? Thank you for calling. Have a nice day. <laughs> now you're going to run away, right? Yep. Should have figured. He caught him. He figured it out. What was his name? Jake? Jason? Jason. Cooker? Hi. Here, put it.
Yeah, no, they're, they're not busy. We're just <laughs> just hung up on me. Hello. Well, that is definitely their number. I still own that number, so. I wonder why if you go to the plans four page it shows that number. I don't know if you guys saw that, that's why I was confused. If you go to plans four page it shows this number, but if you go to any other page it shows the other number. That's why I was confused. But uh yeah. So anyway, this definitely still is their number and I did call this company before and I think the reason why he kinda figured out that what I was doing is because of the fake address, but that's no big deal. I still got the evidence that I needed. Um but anyway, I was still scamming people as usual. Uh she lied about the NetStack connections. Um most gamers usually do when they go into the chat, and she said the main in the browser, I don't know what that is, that, you know, I have no idea, but there's nothing wrong with this computer, as you can see here, it's perfectly clean, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with the computer, it's just a wallpaper, but somehow there's still managed to be hackers inside, so they're still scamming people, not a surprise, by any means, um, anyway, so, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. What? Why are you scamming people? So who told you that we are scamming people? I, I, I don't... Nobody told me. I know because you're connected to my virtual machine scamming, trying to scam me. Which type of virtual machine you are talking about, sir? One you were connected to? No, we are not connected to. No, you weren't. You're not now, but you were earlier. May I just know your name, please? Yeah, my name is Richard Tarr. Your name is? Richard Tarr. Okay, so we don't have your any kind of access, and you are not a registered customer with us. No, you well, had access, so but you decided to leave it. No, By the way, I did no, see when we, you added the unattended restart access. I did see that. We don't have any access of your computer, sir. You did earlier, and you were trying to scam me. Sir, you were the one who who provided the remote access. Then who told you to provide the remote okay, access? Okay, yeah, but. You lied to me when you joined. You didn't check for a Trojan. You just said that there was something inside my browser, man, hack something. You lied about the nut Then connections. why you call You lied. That, you that, are that, a liar. You did not try to fix my problem why? at all. That does not make a difference. I called because I had a problem. You, on the other hand, did okay. not fix it. You lied one to NetStat and lied about those connections saying they were hackers when they were not hackers. Sure. We never lied regarding anything. You it might be lied. possibility that... Okay, so you're telling me that the NetStack connections, those are hackers trying to connect. Are you sure that isn't the uh, connections of the LogMeIn service you're using? Sir, I have no idea because we don't have your remote access. We you don't have, have any access. records of your... No, you sir, are we a don't liar. Have. You are a bullshit liar. Then why you're calling us, sir? Then why you're calling you. us? You're bullshit scammers. I've called you once before, and I called to expose you again. You are bullshit lying scammers. I have your IP address. I know where you're located at. You're a bullshit scammer. All right. And I love how you keep hanging up on me because you can't confront the fact that you're a scammer. You're a piece of shit scammer scamming people out of their money. Sir, if you're going to tell that we are scammer, it doesn't no, make no, that no, we are scammer, okay? No, 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 you are a scammer, scammer. okay? You, you, once you realize no, what I was doing, not. you said, no, we don't, we don't want your personal info. Try to cover up. But the damage is done. You already proved you're a scammer to me, not once, but twice. The first time I called you, said I had coob face. The last time, the first time I called you in my first video. Now I've exposed you again. And then I call back, and then you start cursing at me in Hindi and make some unprofessional noises to me. That was real, that was real nice. You are lying fucking scammers. You're a piece of shit that lives in India that, that, Scans people out of money. I get so sick of people like you. I get so fucking sick of people like you. You're an asshole, and you scam people out of money, and you take advantage of old people. Fuck you. Are you old? That's all I gotta say to you. You're a stupid cunt bitch.